Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this overhanging beam. There is a uniformly distributed load of 5 kN acting on the right portion of the beam which is 4 meter length and also there is a movement of 4 kN meter is applied moment on the center of the mid portion of the beam. So 2 meter from the left end and also 2 meter from the from the right end and there are two supports hinge and roller support. So to find out the support reactions we can call it let's suppose this is support A and this is B so it can take the vertical reaction and also it can also take the vertical reaction but the horizontal reaction of the hinge support will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on the beam. Now to find out the support reaction we will take uh, the help of the equilibrium equation the let's suppose summation of moment at point A equal to zero and let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So now here we see that there is a 4 kN meter low moment is acting in the clockwise direction here we see it is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be positive. So we are going to take the summation of moment at point A so the second moment about point A is this load this reaction RB creates a moment about A so this one is acting in upward direction and it will act in this direction about point A in the anti-clockwise direction so it will be negative minus RB is the load multiplied with the momentum because the moment is equal to the force into momentum so force here is RB and momentum is the distance perpendicular distance from this B point up to A point so it is 2 meter plus 2 meter which is 4 meter the next load that creates a moment is 5 kN per meter so how to deal with this so this load this load acting here and it will also create the moment about point A in the clockwise direction because it is acting downward so if it is in clockwise direction so it will be again positive 5 kN is the load multiplying it with the distance on which it is distributed which is 4 meter multiplying now with the momentum so 5 into 4 means 20 kN 20 or we can say 20 kN so this 20 kN load is acting here at this point this is the concentrated load 20 kN because if you multiply this load with the length 4 meter it means we convert this distributed load into pointed load so now it is 20 kN it is acting at the center of this beam portion which is 4 meters so it means at 2 meter from here so yes 2 meter from here so but the momentum is from this distance from 20 kN up to point A so it means 2 meter plus 2 meter and plus 2 meter so the total is 6 meter so this was the important point here to be noticed now the summation of all the points at point A equal to 0 so if we shift this value RB into the right side so we will get 4 RB equal to the here it will be, remain as 4 in this value if you multiply this value we will get here 120 and RB will become out to be if we add this it becomes 124 and dividing this by 4 so we will get here that RB equal to the 31 kN now if we use the summation of vertical force is equal to 0 the another equilibrium equation but before this you should remember this value that RB is equal to 31 kN so here we find out the RB equal to 31 kN now to find out this RA here so we can use this equi equilibrium equation summation of vertical force is equal to 0 and let's suppose the upward force are taken as positive and the downward force are taken as negative so upper forces are RA and RB so RA plus RB these are upper forces the downward force is only this one 5 kN per meter is the downward force so 5 multiplying it with the distributed length which is 4 so this is the total load acting in downward direction now RB we know that so we will shift this all value to the right side so 
So this will become, if you shift this, it will become positive. So it will be 20. 5 into 4 is 20. And now if you shift this value to the right side, this is positive. So it will become negative. So it will be minus RB. So RA comes out to be 20 minus RB here is 31 kilonewton. So RA comes out to be minus 11 kilonewton. So now we have here minus sign of the here magnitude 11 minus means here that our assumed direction of the uh, support reaction A is was wrong. So we have to change this direction here. This here now. This is support A. So now the reaction will be in downward direction. So it will be minus 11 kilonewton. The 11 shows is the magnitude of the support reactions are A and minus shows that our before assumed direction was wrong. So that's why we changed the direction of the support reactions. So now 11 kilonewton is the support reactions at A point and 31 is at B point. So hope you guys understand how to find out the support reaction when there is applied movement on your beam and also there is a distributed load on the overhanging beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.